This is a portable 240 volt EV charger. Kind of interesting. This is the Shock Flow G1772. It's a 40 amp portable charger. Some sort of holder to secure this at home. Yeah. I have a Nissan Leaf. Love that car. And it came with a portable charger, a 120 volt charger, which means it's super slow charging. It's just plugging it into a regular outlet. I have a secured level two charger on the wall, but I can't today just take that off and put it in my car. It is stuck there. And now this is kind of a combination of the two, a portable level two charger um, that you can keep in your bag and that can plug into any NEMA 1450 outlet, like a dryer outlet, like a 240 volt outlet. Let's go and, uh, and plug my car in. So this is my Nissan Leaf over here. We had this car for about a year and I love it. I love being able to charge it, not having to go to the gas station. Um, so let's uh, plug in the charger. This is my NEMA 1450 plug. Got it in the wall. Okay, so we have brand new spiffy looking okay so immediately as I plugged it in it starts to charge right away okay so let's see here we see the green coming up here 0 0.05 kilowatt hour 23 degrees Celsius 245 volt so because here we get 240 volt uh, 27 amps, 6.6 .6 kilowatts. That's usually what I get when I charge my car. I get about six kilowatt hours. So as I'm trying to, can I do the delay? Okay, I pull the plug out. So now I wanna see if I can control. Oh, okay, so now I can click. I hit delay one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now when it's not plugged in, I can control the 16 amp, 20 amp, 24, 32, 40. So it automatically went on to 40. Okay, so let's try that. Let's put it to delay one hour. Then let's plug the car back in again. So now it should be doing nothing, right? So it's blinking red and it's not moving. We just, so now we started a timer, 59 minutes, four seconds, three, two, one. So this feature of delayed charging, I really like because uh, our electricity costs are more expensive right now between I think three and six o'clock in the afternoon. So we try to not charge the car during that time. But sometimes you come, you wanna plug it in and not have to think about it. Um, and so if you could just set it like, okay, you come home at five o'clock and you wanna start charging at six o'clock, you could just set it to an hour delay. I really like that. So what if I change my mind? The car is plugged in, can I? doesn't work when it is plugged in. So let's unplug it. It's nice, this one. Um, yeah, good feel, no issue. Now let's go and control the unit again. So it, it reset once we unplugged it and put it back. So now we are not at a timer anymore, 40 amps ready. I'm gonna go and plug in the car. and it just starts charging and it's blinking green. But you can see we have a little plug. Now the other way I can see that my car is charging is because uh, one of my lights are blinking here. So we're definitely having power coming into the car. Now this seems like a very nice product, um, solid. The unit works great, um, but the thing that I'm kind of excited about, or the fact, the thing that I really like, is that you can have it as a wall unit where you never take it off, or you can put it back in this little bag and let's take it out on adventure um, and keep it in your car, ready to just hook it up if you come across um, a, you know, a 240 volt outlet, like an RV charging area. And where can you find RV plugs? Campgrounds, right? RV hookups. 
that's what I'm looking for, right? Now the other thing that's obviously nice is if you are traveling to a friend's house, your family, and they um, you park in their garage, and in their garage they have their dryer hookup, or they are a woodworker and they have a 240 volt, you know, NEMA 1450 plug in their shop, um, well, you are all set to charge up your car much faster than if you were to use a regular 120 volt standard outlet, which will take forever. This is so much faster. So this cord here, six meters or 20 feet, not a super long cord, um, also not super short. I mean, it's a good length. You don't want something too long in most situations. It just kind of becomes cumbersome, especially if you take it out on the road. You don't want to have a huge amount of wire that you have to deal with. Um, but if it's in your garage, you know, you have to be relatively close to your, your plug. It can't be too far away. I mean, this, the funny thing, I'm reading through this manual and there really isn't too much to it, right? There's not too much to go over because um, <laughs> you, have, you have two plugs, you have the display, um, it gives you some information, not a huge amount, but you don't really need a huge amount, right? That's the thing, it's pretty straightforward. You set it, delay, yes, no, amps, you know, you have a default, but if you want to change, you can change it, otherwise you just plug it in and you are ready to go. In terms of bag, they're small, easy to just bring in the, keep in the, keep in the trunk, because you're always ready. When I look at this unit, you can definitely tell that it is designed for travel. The cord is a little thinner, a little less heavy than many standard stationary level two chargers. And that's exactly what you would expect. I mean, you don't want to be dragging anything around that is too annoying and cumbersome. So I think it's a good size. Um, I generally like products that are simple and this is simple. Not too many things to control. It works well. You can take it with you. Very cool. Now, if you're curious about this charger, I'll put a link in the description below. I love this idea and I'm going to keep this in my car. I'm rather excited about it um, so that I am ready whenever I come across a hookup where I can plug it in. I think it opens up a lot more possibilities in terms of operating an EV. Now, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.